Right, hello all. Um, today I wanted to check the um, Governor Oil level on 11EA98. Um, excuse the noise, we got um, 10EA15 running in the background. So, just to clarify that this, we're in 11EA98, it is not running. This is a non-running check. So, we sat in the driver's position. There's me washer bottle, there's me SA80 gun mount, the engine covers, there's me gear stick, there's the engine oil, um, there's a the little hatch next to the gear change revs plaque. So we just turn that little lever around, drop that down, and now we can see the back of the fan controller there, there's the fuel injection pump, and there you can just see the dipstick for the governor oil. Basically just reach in, grab the little dipstick, and I don't know if you can see that, we're halfway between the bottom minimum mark and the top mark. Give a little wipe off. This is not too bad. It's uh, but the thing is, this one has been run today to get out into the light. So dip it in again. Yeah, halfway in between the two um, levels. What I'll do is uh, top it up when I put it back into the shed in a bit. Um, that's it, that's how you check the governor oil. Close that back up. We're checking the um, engine oil level. There's our little dipstick in there. Just pull that out. Oops. Check the level, see we've got plenty on there. And we would, uh, I'm going to be able to do this one handed. Went in, it's sort of a bit shaped because of the um, shape of the neck down to the rectifier housing. Oil, horrible stuff. Right, so let's start her up. Go pump on. black but it did look like it had some body to it so not too worried switch that off a minute now, as I was saying um the oil is black so a little lever there push that up that little spring loader thing there the lens cap out of the way strap out of the way 
Okay, so pop that up to release the cup and dipstick out but it is very black as a diesel engine I expect that oil everywhere now it's got say it's got body to it. I just touched it and see we're just sat there it's got to fine. So you would uh, check it while it's not running just to confirm there is oil in it. And say then run and check again once it's all um, settled down. But uh, the gearbox oil back there does really need to be up to temperature and I've got a what's it in the way. So release any weapons same still from the driver's position there we have it there's your dipstick it's dripping off hang on so yeah, believe it or not, that is the same oil as the um, uh, engine oil. There's a different colour because it hasn't got all the carbons of the combustion to blacken it. Just wiped it off. You can see some marks on there and on the other side you've got, well I'm upside down but, sorry I'm right handed, we'll try and get it the right way up. So danger, safety range, danger, checker 800 RPM in neutral at, well basically it's, um, what's it, temperature, running temperature. And it says there use OMD 40. I thought it was OMD 75, but interesting. Now I have to put that onto the old uh, forum, that question. So, anyway, so let's see if I can do this again one handed. So we got. In the middle, safety range. And you can not covered it all, my hands now. Um, so we can start her up. Fuel pump on. As you can see there, the um, it wants a drop in there. I'll uh, probably I'll have to get rid of you first, the camera. Ah. A bit fiddly, one-handed, left-handed. So I'm only right-handed. Now it looks like it's going to chuck it down in rain. Oh, there's a surprise. Clip it shut. Again, another little top up there to do when uh, back in the shed. 
because it's starting to rain now. I was going to get 10 EA15 out, but I don't think I will now. Right, my nose are back over to the, yes, starting to rain. Let's see if we can get you perched up somewhere. you a minute. Me ladders are still there. Right, I actually did, uh, didn't did move it. Um, what I thought we might do is check the steering box oil. Seems we're checking oils. So, I'm back in a minute. So get a right, I'm back. Um, steering box, um, yeah, steering box oils. Got this little armoured bung on the front here. Um, it's about a 5.8 16mm Allen key. There's uh, that is a proper 432 Allen key. Um, slide it in there, there's not a lot to talk about it, but they can be tight. They're tight, you know, give them a sh short, sharp shock. Um, if you find that it is a bit tight, it's. If you haven't got a bit of pole, you can get your spanner. Just to lengthen it a little bit and then lever it round. But uh, if you've got a bit of pole, it'd be a bit easier. I just wanted to show you that. If not, use a proper Allen key socket with a uh, Allen, yeah, Allen key breaker bar with an Allen key socket. Anyway, so undo the bung. Try and catch the gasket. One ended. We can't do it. Oh, lost it. It's gone. So there's the the bung, this is washer, put that on there, it's only a metal shim type washer. Right, and then we have the steering box, and there we go, on the mark. Just to poo that, I'll just go get some blue roll. Right, got my hand of a, I haven't got Ollie here today, nowadays he doesn't want to spend time with his dad. Messing about with tanks, well, tanks, personnel carriers. So he wants to stay at home with his mum. Can't blame him. I've got away with it for a few years. But anyway, steering box oil level. So I say I've got Ollie, so I've got a tripod. So minimax. Stick it in. Back out again. You can just see the oil nice and clean as well. As it's been only the engine oil that's uh, the black because of the um, well, it's the internal combustion engine, and that's what they do really. All right, back in the mode. Going to put some grease on this. Right, right. So what I've done just then, and then we can make it out on there. I put um, it's a copper grease, copper slip. Um, grease to anti seize, give the threads a bit of a chance. I know they're pretty clean and everything, but uh, you never know, do you? Never know. Give it a chance of coming undone again in the future. That uh, pretty much tight as you need to go. If you really just give it a little nip on the odor on that, and that should do. Doesn't need to be monster tight. Right, um left it. Right, what are we doing today? Well, what are we doing next, sorry. It's quite uh, zoomed in. Allen key. We're doing the final drives. There's the level. It's literally in. And I'm afraid it's going to be get my hands dirty. A 
Again, it's the same 16mm 5.8 Allen key. Uh, well, I will point out in a second once I get out. So I know they can be quite tight with bungs. A bit low. I believe it's just got to be up to the the neck. I'll just double check on that when I get uh, get home. But uh, yes, seems to be a bit low. Can't just feel it. So we'll uh, need to top that one up a bit. I think. I was going to show you there is that uh, you can just see on there the Allen key starting to to round out, starting to round on the corners. That was tight, and I was coming to that now. And what I would tend to do if I could get a good or should do it really now while it's out is um, get a ball peen hammer and get the ball and actually hammer it in. These will flatten these um, edges in and allow the Allen key something to grip, grip hold of. The other thing I've seen, I can't remember if 10 EA 15s like it, is um, they've welded a nut onto the um, onto it so that uh, they've used a, they can use a spanner on it at a later date. But uh, so we got the Governor all could do a, a drop in there. The uh, Engine oil is okay. Gearbox oil could do with a drop, and the final drive could do with a drop. I'll have to see what oil I've got here and on the site, and uh, if not get myself some sorted out within the shed. And we'll uh, top them up, but uh, that's it basically. I have to check the levels. Again, we're not bouncing down the M5, don't need to be that tight. So, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, service. Um, service? Let's check the levels. I think we've, um, I don't know if I can do it now, but um, the oil levels, I've got all these points. Arrows at the top. No. Would be, would be. This is the closest one. I'm trying to work you with a tripod on there. Got an arrow that facing upwards vertically, and then you got lever bung there. Let's pop him open, and then say it should be a. No, it's about a th um, whoa, an inch size, but. Uh, now that's going to be up to vertical, so this will be over there, and that'd be a crack level. So I think you really need two of you to work your way through. Um, there are the grease points. Uh, are we? Still hanging on to you and the camera and the tripod. Grease point there, grease point there. Grease point in the centre of the hub. Having a little hub for the turn roller. I did show you the one on the to the bottom on that one, the grease point. Uh, just in the uh, just in the track tension. Um, do adjust it again, actually. Stop while it's sat. I say there's some grease nipples down by the. Tillers. Um, that's all it really, that's all it really.
up onto YouTube and everything soon. And I'll see you on the forum soon. Cheerio.